He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Okay, so let's look at this compound right here. We've got a compound with several hydroxyl groups on it. And now we are going to see what happens when we use two different oxidizing agents. So we have PCC in excess and KMNO4 in excess. And so uh, if you're not sure what these do, you may once again want to check out my tutorial on uh, oxidation reduction in the organic chemistry playlist and uh, try to use the, 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 differing, the, the differing levels of oxidative ability of those two compounds to be able to draw the correct uh, resulting products. Okay, so we're looking at these two oxidizing agents, and we know that oxidizing agents, if we're going to oxidize a carbon, we're increasing the number of bonds to oxygen that that carbon is participating in. So we have a couple of different uh, uh, hydroxyl groups uh, attached to carbons that could potentially be oxidized. So let's compare PCC, pyridinium chlorochromate, and KMNO4, uh, potassium permanganate. We have to understand that PCC is a weaker oxidizing agent and potassium permanganate is a stronger oxidizing agent. So let's review really quickly what these do to different kinds of alcohols. PCC is going to take a primary alcohol and it oxidizes it only to the aldehyde level. It is not going to be able to go further than that. Whereas potassium permanganate will take a primary uh, 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 alcohol and convert it to the carboxylic acid functional group level. Uh, in terms of a secondary alcohol, they will actually both do the same thing. They will generate a ketone, and then both of them for a tertiary alcohol, there will be no reaction. Now, the reason for the secondary and tertiary is as follows. It is easy for an oxidizing agent to, re, uh, to replace a carbon-hydrogen bond with a carbon-oxygen bond. But for a secondary alcohol, like this one right here, so once again, this is primary, right? This is secondary, and this is tertiary. Uh, that's that's the, the substitution at those centers. And so what we're looking at here, for a primary, uh, for a primary uh, position, this is going to be no problem. Uh, PCC will take this to the aldehyde level, right there, whereas P uh, KMNO4 will take that to the carboxylic acid level, as we just stated. And that's because in a primary position, there are two hydrogen atoms here. And so KM, KMNO4 is able to replace both of those carbon-hydrogen bonds with carbon-oxygen bonds. So over here, there's one carbon-oxygen bond. Now there are three carbon-oxygen bonds. And that's the maximum oxidative capacity at that position. And now if we're looking at a secondary position, there is only one hydrogen here. There is one implied hydrogen. And so there's only one carbon-hydrogen bond to replace with a carbon-oxygen bond. So that is why, regardless of the strength, both of these oxidizing agents are going to bring that to the ketone functional group level. Okay, so once again, secondary alcohol is going to go to ketone. Now, when we're looking at a tertiary alcohol, though, if we're looking at a hydroxyl at a tertiary carbon, there is no hydrogen atom there. There is no carbon-hydrogen atom that can be replaced with a carbon-oxygen atom. In order to oxidize at that position, we would have to break a carbon-carbon bond, which is much less favorable, it's much less feasible. So neither of these oxidizing agents have the capacity to break a carbon-carbon bond, and so that is why this position remains unchanged and there is no oxidation taking place at that position. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, and as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.